what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel now we have this nice and beautiful olympiad question on the board which says 2 into s plus y into s minus y is equal to 98 and we are told to look for the value of s and the value of y but take note of what we have on this coily bracket it says s and y are elements of natural numbers you know in order for us to solve this question correctly we must first know what natural numbers are so what are natural numbers natural numbers are positive integers from 1 till infinity although some mathematicians include 0 so it might also include 0 but natural numbers are not negative numbers you have to keep that in mind and they are not also fractions so let's see what we have here so 2 into s plus y into x minus y equal to 98 now we need to get rid of this 2 so how do we get rid of this 2 is by dividing both sides by 2 so i have to divide the left hand side by 2 I also have to divide the right hand side by 2. Now you notice this 2 here will cancel off this 2. Now the 2 is gone. Leaving behind s plus y into s minus y equal to. Now 98 divided by 2 gives what? 49. There you have it. There you have it. Now this we have here is a factor and this is another factor. That means this factor here multiplies this other factor to give 49. But there's something you need to have in mind. That this first factor carrying a positive is greater than this one carrying a negative. Or equal to it. But not the other way around. That means this is not greater than this one carrying a positive. So let me write it here. I'm saying that S plus Y, which is this factor is greater or equal to this other factor so let's find two factors of 49 that are not negative why because we are dealing with natural numbers here so we're not dealing with negative numbers so natural numbers so what are those factors we have 49 times 1 so this will give you 49 very good and 7 times 7 will also give you 49. These are perfect factors to use in this question. Uh, so let's use this first one. So we have s plus y into s minus y is equal to. Now this 49, we use this one to replace this 49. That means we use this first factor to replace this 49. So we have 49 times 1 so meaning that one of these factors represents 1 here then this other one represents the other one here but remember we always choose the bigger number for this because it is greater so let's go so we are saying that s plus y is equal to 49 because it is greater and this other one s minus y is equal to 1 because it is smaller so we have two equations here which we're going to be solving simultaneously so I will, I'll be calling this one case 1 why because I'll use this other factor for case 2 so let's go with this so we call this equation 1 and we call this equation 2 so what do we do we have to subtract so let's subtract equation 2 from equation 1 when we subtract s minus s is gone so y minus minus y remember minus minus means plus so y plus y gives 2y equal to 49 minus 1 gives 48 and when you divide both sides by 2 you see that you have y as in 2y divide by 2 which is what I have on the left equal to 48 divided by 2 which is what I have on the right you notice that 
this will go leaving behind y. So y will be equal to 49 divided by 2 gives what? 24. There you have it. So we have the value for y now. So now let's go for the value for s. You know, we can get the value for s when we substitute this value for y in any of this given equation. So I'm going to be putting the value of y in equation 1. So let's do that. This is s. So we write down s plus y. So I'll be putting the value for y, which is 24. 24 equal to 49. Good. So now let's call it like terms, which means that I'm going to be moving plus 24 to this right-hand side. So when plus 24 crosses to the right-hand side, it becomes negative. So I have S to be equal to 49. Now cross plus 44 to this other side, it becomes negative 24. So S will then be equal to 49 minus 24 gives what? 25. So we have S to be 25 and we have Y to be 24. So in this first case, S in this first case, let me write the answer here. S is 25 and Y is 24. So now let's move on to the other case. The other case is when the S plus Y, which is this factor, is equal to this other factor, which is this we have here. So now let's move forward. So we are saying this factor, which is S plus Y, into s minus y is equal to we're using the factor where the both of them are the same so seven times seven so we're going to take this one for this and take the other one for this so that means we're saying s plus y is equal to seven and s minus y is equal to seven so let's solve these two equations simultaneously just as we did the first one so this one is equation one and this is equation 2. So let's subtract equation 2 from 1. So S minus S is gone. Then Y minus minus Y. Remember, minus minus is plus. That means Y plus Y gives what? 2Y. Equal to 7 minus 7 is what? 0. And when you divide both sides by 2, what are you going to get? 2 can cancel off. Y becomes 0 divided by 2 gives what? 0. So Y is 0 here. And now, let's put this value of Y in any of this equation so that we get the value for S. So I choose equation 1 as well. So let's put this 0 in place of Y. So I have S plus. Now in place of Y, I'm going to be putting 0 there equal to 7. So 0 does not mean anything. So that means I'm going to be writing S, ignoring the 0, equal to 7. So in this case 2, which is what we have here, case 2, we have S to be equal to 7 and Y to be equal to 0. So there you have it. I believe that you have learned a lot from this very lecture. And if you really learned a lot and you really enjoyed this video, please do not hesitate to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming video. There are more educational videos that are coming and you don't want to miss that.